Hi, today is Thursday, November 7th, and we are on our way to the mall for Adri to get her pictures taken at JCPenney because she turned five, so these are her birthday photos, and um, it's around 12-ish in the afternoon, and her appointment is at 1.20, but we're going to leave early so we can get there and make sure that she looks decent and her hair is not all over the place and everything. Here they are, ready to go. Let's see your picture outfit, outfit of the day. <laughs> are you gonna smile pretty? Mm. Okay, don't close your eyes though. Okay. Please smile. <laughs> At least, Woody, who do you have with you? My shirt, Bridget. And who is that in your hand? What in your other hand? Who is that? Baby. Are you taking your baby with you? <laughs> what are you? She's silly. All right, let's roll. <laughs> they also want to go to the pet shop or something in the mall. We'll see. <laughs> let's roll. Okay, so it is like seriously a very rainy, yucky day today. And I have to take all this stuff into the mall just to make sure her pictures look good. I brought extra stuff, but it's so yucky outside. I don't even wanna get out. I have to get the stroller. I have to get all this stuff. I have all these bags to take and I have to get both of them out. And I don't want her to get all messed up. I don't want her hair to get all messed up, but we did make it here on time, so maybe. It won't be so bad. We'll see. I hate fall rain because it's all cold. Well, it's about 60 degrees, but still we have coats on and it's all wet. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to it. No, no. And stop by to get them some ice cream they have. A coupon for free ice cream. Is it good? The ice cream good? Yeah. Mmm. Not gonna play. <laughs> so we're finally back from the mall, and Adri's pictures went great. They came out so cute, and she did a really good job smiling and cooperating with the photographer. And I'm excited to um, to get the pictures. Um, right now, I'm just gonna start cooking dinner. I'm so tired because I didn't get any sleep last night and I woke up so early. But I still have to do my job. The girls are asleep so I guess I'll just start uh, cooking dinner. Uh, first I think I'm going to make a, um, a apple pie type of dessert dish before I cook dinner because I'm just making something quick and easy again because I'm tired. But yeah, um, that's what's going on right now. Yeah, they're asleep. I didn't even bother taking off their coats. And the heat just went off, but they might get hot, but they're so tired. I know, they fell asleep in the car. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna start cooking before they wake up. 
So I decided to make an apple crostata and it's like a um it's like an apple pie but just with one uh bottom layer of pie crust and it's wrapped around the apples. Um so yeah, that's what I'm gonna make. That's easy, quick and easy, and I got a whole bunch of apples from the farm and it sounds good, so that's what I'm gonna try to make. So here's the ingredients for the pie crust or the crostata crostata crust. I have one cup of flour and a half of a teaspoon of salt in the bowl and I mixed it. And you need six tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of water. And like I said, I've already stirred the flour and the salt and I'm gonna cut in the butter and mash it up until it's like small little pea size. Oh, and it's important that the butter is cold. So I'm gonna smash it up into little pea sizes. So I had to add a little bit more flour because you want this to be crumbly and look like little pea sizes. And so I added a little bit more flour because it was like too mushy. Um, and that's probably because of the butter that I used. I didn't use like typical butter, I used this butter with olive oil and yeah, it's actually soft really already. It's not really like regular sticks of butter that's hard and when it's cold, it's better to use that type. But um, yeah, just add a little bit of flour and I use this thing to cut it, but you can use a fork. Now you wanna add, which I probably don't need three tablespoons of water because like I said, the butter was so soft. Um, but you add it one at a time, one teaspoon at a time to mix it. And I'm going to do that. So I don't have a um, cookie sheet. I mean, not a cookie sheet, a cutting board. I could just use a table, but I don't feel like cleaning up all that mess. So I'm just using a cookie sheet and I just sprinkle flour. And this, I probably added too much water, but I'm going to need this put it in a disc shape and then wrap it in um, plastic wrap and then put it in the refrigerator for 45 minutes. So now I have this and this is how it should be like a disc and I'm just gonna put this in the refrigerator for 45 minutes and I'm going to now make the filling. Okay, so I heat the oven to 425 and you need um, a fourth of a cup of granulated, granulated sugar plus one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And then I have three tablespoons of flour and a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And you need four apples. I have six because I don't know exactly how big the apples are supposed to be. So I'm just gonna cut them all up and then see if it, whatever is enough. And I have a mixture of red and yellow apples and I'm going to soak these apples in vinegar and water for a couple minutes just to get all the dirt off and then after that I'm going to peel them and cut them in wedges. So have my apples cut up. I used four apples, three yellow and one red and now I'm going to add the sugar and the flour together and I'm going to mix it up and then add the apples into this mixture and mix it all up until the apples are all covered. I meant to say that I added the um, the fourth cup, one fourth cup of sugar and the three tablespoons of flour because this uh, one tablespoon of sugar and cinnamon are going to be mixed together and sprinkled on top. But still, I mixed the flour and the sugar together and now the apples. Okay, so here's what I did. I mixed the apples with the fourth cup of sugar and three tablespoons of flour until it's all covered up. And I don't, I didn't use the table to flatten it out. I just put it on this ungreased 
cookie sheet because this is what I'm going to bake it on anyway. So I just flattened it out and I'm going to put the apples on top and then fold it over. So this is the crostata wrapped up. The apples are inside of the pie crust. And I'm just going to take this cinnamon and sugar and just sprinkle it on top with my fingers. Uh-uh. Blurry. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. Evenly. Okay, so now it's ready to go in the oven. The 425 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, the crostata is done. It baked for 30 minutes. Halfway through, I put a foil on top of it so it wouldn't burn. And it's nice and crispy. I'm going to let it cool for like an hour. And then I'm going to have it for dessert. It looks good though, and it smelled really good. I did it wrong. Okay. So. I tasted the apple crostata and it's delicious. I did. And I just want to say, like, for the record, it's not apple pie, but it's a very much quick and easier recipe alternative to apple pie. And it's really good. It was very crunchy, and the apples were sweet and soft, and it was good. So it took about, um, it took about 30 minutes to. To, to um well it took about 20 minutes to put together maybe well you know you gotta let the pie crust sit for 45 minutes and then it bakes for 30 minutes but it wasn't that long it didn't take that long especially when you make the filling while the pie crust is in the refrigerator it, it went by really quick and it's really good so what do you think about it it's good it's good mm -hmm. Oh, somebody's crying. Mm-hmm. This little one cannot have dessert because she did not eat her carrots for dinner. Aww. And then she threw them in the sink. Aww. Bake the apple. Yes. Enjoy.